the city is charged with mitigating and managing and sort of, you know, fix it now, there's a problem, there's a pothole, there's, there's traffic congestion. The research institution at the Urban Freight Lab can slow down and help us bring that data collection rigor evaluation to some of the work that we might be pressured to do much more quickly. Since the beginning of the Freight Lab, actually, one of the biggest things we wanted to do was make sure that this data was open and available. And we were always looking to make it scalable. It's great if we find an answer for one building in one location, but I'd rather we have a chance to understand the entire network. It's a real challenge for us to figure out what the best use of the curb is in a world that is changing rapidly. We have new types of e-commerce and demands for smaller types of deliveries, more frequent types of deliveries. At the same time, we know there are transportation network company demands for those curbs and those short stays. It's helpful for us to work with Urban Freight Lab to think about systems thinking and holistic solutions and how we all work together to make sure that system works effectively again for urban goods delivery especially and in a world that is sort of evolving and changing rapidly in urban jurisdictions. One of the projects that we've been working on has been the Cordon Count project where we're able to finally get an idea of what type of vehicle movement goes in and out of this area all simultaneously. As we review, as we get into the next few years and begin to mitigate the impacts of a fast growing city, this is the ability for us now to say instead of I feel, but instead to say that I've seen and I know and I've recorded. So the Common Locker Project allows folks to be able to pick up their packages securely to more central locations, locations such as uh, transit facilities. So we see a number of potential benefits from that for our riders, but uh, it also uh, potentially creates a lot of the sorts of social value that we're interested in as a public agency. If we can reduce the time that trucks spend circulating around on neighborhood streets, uh, delivering packages door to door, uh, improve air quality, uh, reduce conflicts or curb use, we definitely benefit as well. The disconnect between private and public is you lose sight of how fast innovation is moving in the private space. And so being able to all be in the room with the private providers, we've been able to share information in a way that wouldn't have happened had I not had this opportunity to build those kind of personal relationships through the Freight Lab. You know, we have quarterly meetings with the Urban Freight Lab and their partners. It's, it's great for us to be at the table with all those folks. And with the input from the Freight Lab and its partners, we're making better use of the curb for them to help us better do our jobs at SDOT. By joining forces with uh, all these other stakeholders out there, the Urban Freight Lab can bring together those various interests, bring some research funding, uh, and bring to the table their own expertise in managing a research project in a robust way. I know that the Urban Freight Lab, and frankly the city, is always looking for partners, more information, and ways to complement each other's skills as well as data. DC and New York have been working on projects that are similar to this and that have actually been outgrowths of some of the basic types of research we had looked at because as soon as we began to realize what type of data and potential benefits we had, it was worthwhile for others to see if that could be applied in their own location. We have kind of our own unique landscape here, but different parts of the country have other unique components. And I think the academic space allows us to really kind of like sit in the data and to say, hey, now we understand why this is happening. It's justification for when we need to do that fix or the implementation. We have the data to back up our decisions and we're actually making data-driven decisions instead of just gut or qualitative.